called did, were you called up then i i can't remember the timeline yeah. were you called up before you were released like the first time yeah yeah so uh, that's an interesting story so um in ovw now and then um i remember so it was about a year later first time i got to go on the road um it was uh it was like fall of 08 went, went to do the smackdown house shows and i got to work the bashams and uh I remember sitting in my hotel room before that thing, and dude, I'm gonna be on a WWE show, like, like an actual show. People are paying money to come to, and I, I didn't really know a lot of people. Most of the guys that I, that I knew that had gone up were on Raw, and um, but I, I knew Doug and Dano, like not super well, but I knew from OVW, and me and Fanaki worked um worked them, and I remember like being in there thinking like, you know, Rick, like you were saying, over prepared, man. I remember I had Doug in an arm bar, and I remember looking around the ring thinking, dude, I I can be up here. This is the this is what I've been doing. This is just the bigger stage for it. And uh, yeah. so I, you know, I got good reports and or good marks, or whatever, and all that. And then um, that early January went back up, did dark matches, and then I tore my pec. Um, and then uh, had surgery, came back. And then by the end of this 2005, at the end of 2005, this is when um, Matt Capitelli and the Miz were going to be a tag team. And then uh, Matt got hurt, which I'm the one that knocked him out. And that's how we found the brain tumor. Oh, that's right. That's, I yeah. About that. yeah. Which was pretty wild because, you know, I, I never, as far as I know, never hurt anybody, never, never knocked anybody out. And this one time and we do it, you know, we find out he's got the tumor. And um, it was in OVW, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I had gone, me and Jeter went to Heyman. It was like, hey, let, you know, let me do something different. Let, let, me and Jeter have been, you know, best buddy since we started let's can we do that on tv and turn me heel so I, you know, I could do something different and have fun with it and so that's what happened with that and then right away um they put me back they put me with the miz because uh miz and i had done house shows um that summer because matt was hurt and uh so then matt came back and they found out about the tumor so they put me back with the miz and then like all of like 2006 um we him and i did the raw house shows and then um in march i i had my incident where i nearly died from because by this time in my life you know I'm, I'm pretty much out of control with partying and and all that and so then i ended up in the hospital um, no i really didn't know so i don't <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i ended up in the hospital and uh nearly died that night and, and this oh, is shit. also right when the uh the wellness policy gone into effect breaking news here rip <laughs> yeah, I never heard nothing. I never heard nothing about it. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I don't. I think you remember when. Um, so maybe Rip. I think you you were not teaching class then. Um, this would have been like early '06. Oh, I was teaching the other group or whatever. Okay, intermediate. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, it was definitely the uh, Clint. You remember this when that happened? I, can, I didn't really remember. I don't okay, really yeah. know your, that story too much. Yeah. I don't think. I don't. I don't. I mean, I I, okay. I assume something happened. Yeah. I remember you coming back, which we'll get into here in a minute. The second yeah. tryout because I, or the second time you got signed because I was at the actual tryout okay, that you got signed yeah. from. Mm -hmm. But I don't really remember or know. So you were on the road basically and. Yeah, got yeah. messed up and almost died in the hospital is what it sounded like to me right now yeah so that was actually in louisville and we, so we actually got called up so we, we were doing we we're doing all the raw house shows like january february and then like in march they were like okay we're bringing you and the miz in together it's gonna be like a reality tv gimmick oh wow really um we actually I, did, went to, I didn't know that yeah yeah we actually went to smackdown um and you know how this goes we, we were supposed to debut and they're like all right we're gonna do it next week yeah okay and then so they they also told us they sent us to South Padre Island for spring break and, and gave us a camcorder and said, just film yourselves Holy partying. Shit. Yeah. And then we're gonna, awesome. Yeah. We're going to use that as yeah, right? that back in the day. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you, you see where, you know, and, um, <laughs> see where this is going. Yeah. And, they're, and, they're, and then so we, this is, you know, VHS camcorder thing where we, we mailed it from, South Padre Island to WWE, and then we came back on a Friday, and uh, that's there was St. Patrick's Day, both six. We went, we all went out that night. This is in Louisville. Then Saturday morning, woke up in the hospital, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, and so then um, yeah, man, and then I get the call. You know, 
office had found out. Uh, and, and so the wellness policy just went into effect. And remember, Johnny called me. He's like, man, we're, we were just down there telling you guys about this stuff. You know, um, he's like, you, you guys are, you, you're coming up here on Tuesday, right? To debut. And I was like, yeah. He's like, well, that's on hold. I was like, fuck, man. And then so then um, he goes, I got to talk to, we got to talk to Vince about you. And so uh, called me back like 30 minutes later. And he said, uh, well, Vince said, you know, you got to go away and, and got to go away for a while and get yourself right. And, you know, I was, I, you know, I was crushed. So it went from debuting to like, like I'm, I'm out. I'm out of a job. Oh, my God. Yeah. How, how old were you? 25, about to be 26. Really? Yeah. So they released you at that time? C correct, yeah. So what did you do after that? Did you stay around OVW or did you leave for a while? Y yeah, so like I really didn't know what to do. I just, and, and you know, all my You got to be crushed, there. right? I mean, at oh, that time. Oh, for sure. And now like, um, yeah, like all my friends are there. That's my whole life's wrestling. Um, and uh, now, you know, I'm watching over the next few months. I, I just hung out in Louisville and, uh, you know, I'm seeing other people get called up and, you know, be on TV. And it's like, man. So, uh, you know, my solution to that was just to, you know, keep partying because I, I didn't want to you know, look at any of that. And uh, finally, moved, I moved back home because I ran out of money, moved in with the ex-girlfriend, which was uh, Shelly Martinez. And oh, <laughs> nice. She's a good yeah. friend of the show. Okay, yeah, yeah. Been on? Yeah. Um, she finally got tired of my stuff. and We can, we can talk uh, off the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, moved back in with my parents and then... Uh, you know, try to get myself straightened out. Then I ended up about a year later, I came back to OVW. I talked to Danny because I figured, you know, business wise, um, cause Lauren, they had told me, you know, from the beginning, they're like, look, you know, this isn't a performance thing. You, you, you messed up and you got to straighten yourself out. So that was always kind of the word was like, you know, get yourself straight and you can come back. Um, 